Rob F. in Southern California, and I'm standing here post-workout with featherweight contender Nam Fan. Nam, how's it going? Uh, it's always good, Rob. Thanks. Thanks for having me. First of all, I want to ask you about uh, the UFC that just happened. Did you get a chance to watch it and want to know what your thoughts are on uh, any of the bouts that stood out in your mind? Yeah, there's some pretty good knockouts. Um, man, my, my Asian brother, Stun Gun, didn't look too good that night. Oh, man, I was totally rooting for him big time. But, you know, my call's kind of just too crazy, man. And um, Tito Ortiz, big upset. I thought Ryan Bader was going to annihilate him. But, man, Tito Ortiz showed up and, man, upset the world again, you know. And um, I was rooting for Uriah Faber to um, buff the win over Dominic Cruz. But, you know. Uh, very good job, Don Cruz. He's just too elusive, man. He's man. He's a very good athlete. It was a good fight. The bar has been raised uh, in terms of events. So your event actually is coming up next month, UFC 133. And I want to ask you about uh, your opponent. It's Mike Thomas Brown, who's a former WEC champion. Uh, tell me about the significance of this fight for you. Oh, you know, for me, significant is like uh, he's the former world champion. So that wow, it, it puts me up there. You know, like, I got to really perform. Got to show that. You see what I'm worth, you know. I gotta, even when I lose, I gotta show that I can compete with the, the high elite level. Tell me something: Has your training changed at all um, in preparation for for Mike Brown, or um, are you training the same way like where you were when you were gonna fight Leonard Garcia? Yeah, you know, it's it's, it's um, very similar. You know, actually for this camp, actually. Went out, went to uh, AKA, trained with some of the guys out there, and went to hang out with Gil Melendez for a little bit. And I came back, you know, uh, came back here to train again as well. Um, same, same thing, kind of. Just had some of my guys, my black belt buddies, my good wrestling buddies, helped me train. Um, so it's unusual. It's, it's unusual. Nothing too different. So you went up to Northern California and you trained with some of the guys up there. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, okay. So let me ask you as well because I love coming down to your gym and I love seeing you work out with your guys. You're running your own gym still as well, right? Yeah, I, you know, I teach and I train out of my own school. Yes. Has it gotten to the point where it's cutting into your training time, or do the both go hand in hand? You know, it's tough. You know, it, it'd be ideal to like train so only to focus on training and not worry about anything else. But you know, that's that's not realistic. You know, you know, I have responsibilities to do. I got bills to pay, and I'll. I have to teach. I gotta. I, I have to train. So somehow I gotta make it work, and that's just the that's, that's just the real of it, you know. Are you are you still self managed? I am self managed as well. Yes. So you're 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 the fighter. You're the agent. You're the the manager, and you're the the gym owner. I am the I'm the everything. You gotta you man. You gotta you gotta hustle, man. Like it's it's not as pretty as you know people think. You know, it's just some people don't always have the convenience. Just you know, just maybe having a manager, this and that, or you know having someone running their own gym and just just focus on training or just me just just training or whatever you know it's you know it, it's tough you know, you gotta do you gotta multitask did you hear my ringtone yes. it's a street fighter too in case you could hear the sure you can uh i wanted to ask you about um your your twitter account i i follow you on twitter it's uh nam fan mma for anyone out there that's uh interested in nam fan mma you don't talk really a lot of trash on Twitter like I watch uh, all the other UFC fighters tweets uh, do the other UFC, UFC fighters talk a lot of trash I just talk about my day and or just uh, about my uh, Madu hopeless romantic poetry <laughs> yeah I, and I, I noticed that you know sometimes the, the 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 tweet wars get more intense as the fight uh, the fight date approaches so you haven't said anything really about Mike Brown. I don't. I don't think that's really your style, unless uh, Dana White's um, Twitter bonus, the offer of the Twitter bonus, has changed at all. Oh, you know, um, no, there's no for, in the US. There's no Twitter bonus to talk smack on any other, anyone else. And also, someone like Mike Thomas Brown, you know, so, he's someone that I always respect as a person in outside the ring. You know, always a classy guy. You see his interviews. The guy's never talked smack. On, he's never one to talk smack on anyone too. And I. And I don't want to disrespect that guy because I actually, you know, I look up to this guy. You know, I have a lot of respect for him. You know, it's an honor to get the opportunity to fight the former champion in Mike Brown. Uh, going, speaking about the Twitter bonus, I wanted to ask you about the Fighter Summit that just happened not too long ago in Las Vegas. I saw an itinerary that got leaked on the internet, and it, it to me, it reminded me it's one part MMA, one part high school orientation, 
and one part motivational speaking seminar. You know, how was that experience for you? I mean, cause it, it, to me, just to get all these fighters in one area at the same time, to have them going through different courses and, and, and learning new things and, and having different meetings, it seems very bizarre to me. But how was it for you? I don't know. Um, I mean, for me, you know, because, you know, I do everything myself anyways. So, you know, it's just some of the things, it's just uh, kind of just um, um, for some of the fighters that didn't know what was going on or that had questions about the you answer a lot of questions and stuff like that. And, and you talked about, you know, insurance and stuff like that. Uh, the UC is providing for us. So it was, very, it was a very positive um, event for all the fighters. So I, I enjoyed it. Did you notice uh, anybody falling asleep or maybe you yourself fell asleep during some of the sessions? <laughs> oh, I don't, I, I don't recall myself falling asleep, but um, did I see any fighters fall asleep? Uh, uh, I can't say if I did or not. I, yeah, I got I to think back my memory cap there. <laughs> Last question here before I let you go. You made a comment about my shirt. If you can see my shirt here, that's a, that's a Steven Seagal shirt. I went to go see him. Uh, he's a musician. And I know you have some, some thoughts about uh, M Master Seagal. <laughs> I mean, I, I, you know, you went, yes, he is a musician. I had some friends that went to his uh, concert. Right. And they're telling me like, dude, this guy doesn't even play. He's like, I, I, this lip singing, but he's like guitar syncing. Like, like, um, like the musical one way and the way he was, he was uh playing the guitar wouldn't match with the how the music was going it's like yeah. this guy's like this guy's a fake all over and like he's a fake musician he's a freaking fraud martial artist like anyone that trains martial arts uh, uh, anyone's a fighter and even not a fighter even just you just train martial arts you know that he made a comment about Lyoto. yo i went to um train Lyoto five days before his fight with Rainier tour and i showed him the front kick that's how I was able to knock out Lenny Tour and be successful and be victorious. Anyone that a fighter, even if you're not a fighter, just, just trains. You know, five days of just, you know, instruction isn't going to do nothing. You know, it, it takes a long time. Um, I mean, Lyoto and the Spider, you know, Anderson Silva, they already had the mechanics of that front kick, the karate black belt, Anderson Silva, you know, Taekwondo um, practitioner. Like, they, had, they already knew how to do that front kick. I don't think Steve's a goal, you know. Um, made that much of a difference in that front kick. And I'm, I'm sure everyone watching this already thinks the same thing as I do. I'm just, you know, putting it out there. Harsh words for uh, Master Segal. Uh, but, uh, hey, I, I, I thought it was an interesting concert. I mean, it was, it was, it was something. I'm going to say that. It was something. Okay. <laughs> you can catch Nam Fan fighting next month at UFC 133 against Mike Thomas Brown. Nam, good luck. Thanks so much. Thank you, Rob.